Welcome to The Secret Cocktail, where we talk everything healthcare school ownership. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the top six items you need to consider when building your website. This is not all of them, just the ones many people forget and should consider. And please note, numbers five and six will make you money, so you'll wanna watch until the end. Number one, decide how many pages you wanna have on your website and what exactly those pages should say. Please surf the internet and check out other websites to get a feel for the aesthetics and the appeal that you want for your site. This will definitely help your developer when they're creating your website. Now, many people forget to ensure that one of those pages is a blog. Please do not sleep on the blog. This is how you get found in Google. Your blog should be filled with answers to the questions people commonly ask about your service or your product. So, for example, I know that my ideal customer is asking the internet, how do I become a CNA instructor? See the search results here? I pop up on the first page of Google. Why? Because I wrote the article on a topic and people found it and read it. Do you think they will be interested in my services now that I gave them valuable information? Are they now gonna go and surf my website? More than likely, yes. So like I said, don't sleep on the blog. Number two, always have a call to action on your website. I am so tired of seeing websites with great info about the service or the product that they provide, and they get the customer all excited and ready to do business with them, and then there's no way for the customer to make that transaction. This is where the action button comes into play. After you explain the service, you must have a call to action immediately after. Nice and bold and easy to click. Many people surf the internet in the middle of the night when your business is closed. They won't remember to call you in the morning, so remember that. Check out this example here of a call to action on a website. Number three, choose your domain. You know, the web address? Many people type www.whatever.com. That is your domain. Before you purchase a domain, please note that you need to make sure the domain is not confusing and that it's easy to spell. It shouldn't be too long, and it's best that it does not contain numbers and letters. It is so hard to explain my website is www.thenumberonechoice.com versus just saying www.firstchoice.com. See the difference? When you only have a one minute elevator pitch, you really ain't got time for that. Number four, don't forget to provide the customer with a means of contact. Some people like to call, some people like to email, and others, they just like to pop up. So make sure that you're catering to each of those customers. Be sure to have a page labeled, contact us. And that page should have all the means of contact right there. Even your social media pages should be linked there. So remember, email, phone number, location address, and social media handles are very important for that page. Number five, make sure your website can take payments. No one wants to come all the way to your location just to pay you or go back and forth in your DM about your cash app. You are a professional and a business owner. Let's present ourselves in that fashion. Your developer can actually connect your website to a payment processing company like PayPal, Stripe, or even Authorize.net. So please take a look at payment processing options for your website. It is a simple checkout process that enables customers to pay right away without delay, no matter the time of day. Nothing is better than waking up to see that people were paying for your services while you were sleeping. Contact a payment processor and get approved to have payments on your website. I personally like Authorize.net. They're affordable and the checkout process looks great from the customer's end. PayPal is probably one of the most expensive payment processors and I would not necessarily recommend them. However, they do have a very easy checkout process, I can't lie, but when you see how much they're taking out of your payments, <laughs> let's just say you'll see what I mean. Number six, the most important of them all. Remember I talked about the contact page? You should have a contact us form on the contact page also. This form is for the person that does not wanna call you, they don't wanna email you, they don't wanna stop by. They just wanna fill out a form and wait for you to call them. Now, please listen carefully here, cause this is the important part. Many website developers take advantage of new business owners because they do not know that the contact form needs to send the potential customer information somewhere valuable. Many developers will just have the form drop the customer's info off in cyberspace, never to be found again, or just have it send you an email with the person's name and information. That's not acceptable. Your contact form needs to be connected to an email marketing or a text message marketing system. 
Customers' contact info directly from your website is the most valuable info you can receive. This is a person saying, I came to your website, I see what you have, and I'm interested. Call me. This is a paying customer. An email marketing or text message system allows you to send or text blast all the people who are interested all at once. So let's say your website was popping and overnight you acquired 30 new interested customers via your website form. Then you wake up in the morning, do you wanna go and text or email all 30 of those people one by one? No, that would take all day. Your form, if it's connected directly to your email or text message marketing system, all those contacts will be all in one place and all you simply do is press a button and email and text them all at the same time with the info they requested. Done. Probably took you five minutes. Or you could connect the form to an email slash text message automatic reply that answers any common questions that you have and invites them to chat with you so that you can convert them to a paying customer. This is called automation. And your website needs to be able to promote this. It is the biggest time saver I've ever experienced in my life as a business owner personally. Well, I hope that you got what you came for. If you wanna learn more about automation, then comment below. If I receive 50 responses or more, I'll make a video specifically about automation. It has saved my life. I want it to save your life and your business too. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Victoria Randall, your pusher, pushing you to be the entrepreneur you were destined to be. Since you're here, check out my channel, subscribe and get more business tips. Best of luck to you on your website. You got this.